All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's gonna give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Dead 50 K. Yay! And now if you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh! Oh! Oh, big left hook there! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he gets tagged. 
Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Misses again with a right punch. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takeout. Oh, nice. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice leg kick. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big. There he's seeing one more of those. He might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good fight. Oh, Superman punches true. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Look at the whip action that comes from your throwing that kick. Real quick leg kick. That is a stiff jab. And they separate. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's trying to chase down that kick. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. That is, oh man, this 
dude is good. how he stay up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, it's... See how that punch right there? His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. And they separate. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Now he's on top of him looking for a pick. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he is... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Ooh. Shot to the body. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, huge head kick. hip into that leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his throw. Go finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's gonna shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's gonna secure. I'll take your action. Okay. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Beautiful punch. Serves him up. Go get him. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. I mean, how many can he take? Sound strike on the ground. Lands the ground and pound strike. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on. He's attacking on bar now. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Oh, that was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting, and it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the third round. To bring the winner by tap out, Dan 50 K. E. Dan. All right, so there he is, all 
smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.